Hey there, my beautiful Scorpio. This is going to be your next 48 hour reading. So let's get into it. What do we have for Scorpio spirit? Messages for Scorpio next 48 hours. We're going to get your oracles and then we're going to go ahead and get into your message. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. You're going to get an angel message. Okay, we have Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Okay, Spirit is letting you know that you already know the answers. Scorpio. Let's get a message for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio's money? Okay, so we have Surrender to the Divine, Full Moon. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your message, Scorpio. Let's jump right in. Messages for Scorpio, please. The messages we have for Scorpio next 48 hours. Messages for Scorpio. Oh, oh. Okay, so we have, we have the Justice card. And the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, I'm liking this energy already. I'm liking this energy, my beautiful Scorpio. Okay. Something is definitely going to go into your favor. Something uh, could have to do with money, basically. Um, hmm. More messages for Scorpio, please. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay. So we have... The uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Pentacles here at the top. Okay. And what is your overall energy, Scorpio? The Nine of Wands. Hmm. The Nine of Pentacles, Nine Nine. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. The Judgment card. And then we have, I'm going to take these two, the Four of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Four of Wands and Nine of Swords. Okay. Well, I feel like something is leaving you a little bit discouraged. You know, it could be a long-term situation that you're in that you're feeling very discouraged about, that you're, you know, needing answers for. We have the, the Ace of Swords at the bottom. I feel like there's a need for you to have the answers that you need. That could be the reason why Spirit is letting you know you already know the answer. Okay, Scorpio, you already know the answer. You have this gut feeling. You have this feeling, you know, about something, you know, and your feelings, you know, with the justice card and the judgment card is telling you that your feelings are right on, right on point. They're right on point, right? Uh, with the justice card, I feel like you, you are needing to See the truth in something, you know, have this clarity. But if this is a situation to where, you know, you've been waiting on something, I feel like there's something that's going to be right. Okay. I, I feel like a right is being wronged, right? Um, or someone who has done you wrong is, you know, they're getting their karma for that situation. Okay, with the uh, judgment card, definitely reflecting on the situation. Okay, let's go to the, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like, like, like I said, I feel like with this Justice card, something is making, is being right, you know. 
uh, you're being made whole in this situation. It's becoming more balanced. You know, there's an opportunity that's coming forward, an opportunity for um, your, your finances to grow, for prosperity, for some kind of opportunity or some kind of new um, venture. You know, this is a new beginning. It could be a new job or, you know, you may have thought that there was job loss or you may have been wronged in a job. And now that situation is, is being made right. You know, something is going in your favor here. Okay. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like, you know, you've been working on something for a long time without seeing any reward. And now I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles right above that, you know, that's all changing. That's all being restored to you. Okay. Because the efforts that you put in here that you were not being rewarded for, now it's coming through. Now you're being rewarded. Now you're seeing the rewards. Okay. With the, the Nine of Pentacles. Excuse me. That's the Ten of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles. This is increase. You know. This is abundance. This is having great wealth. Right. And the, the Nine of Pentacles is being independent. You know. It's. like the fruits of your labor coming through okay just being more independent um success okay with the nine of wands energy i feel like you're holding back i feel but i feel like there's some resilience here you stuck it out you stood your ground you didn't let down you know um you may have had to take a last stand or really speak your truth. You know, there was some kind of actions that you had to take to speak your truth, my beautiful Scorpio. Okay, and I feel like those actions that you took paid off. You know, something that you did is paying off here because I feel like it's building. You know, you're raising your standards. You're hard at work. On something and now you're seeing the rewards the rewards are coming in okay with the the knight of cups I mean this is following your heart you know taking that action going after something that you love okay this could definitely also be some kind of proposal some kind of love offer coming through for you um, if, if you're looking for love, this could definitely be a love offer that's coming through, that's being offered to you. But I, I really feel like this is you standing up for uh, something that you love, you know, following your heart. Okay. And like I said, with the judgment card, you're, you're going through this awakening. You know, this is a new beginning. You know, you've done moved out of your comfort zone and now you're you're reaping those rewards you're reaping the rewards of your success you know the four of wands and the nine of swords hmm this is kind of conflicting but i feel like the you know the four of wands this is celebration. It could also have be marriage, you know. Um, it could also be community. You know, something in your community is making you fearful, okay? Um, keeping you in doubt. You're doubting something is going to come through. It's giving you some kind of anxiety, you know. You could have went through trauma recently within your community or within a marriage, okay? Um, yeah, you could have went through trauma in your marriage if you're married or in your long-term relationship, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Give me a message for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know in this situation? Clarify the justice card. Why is the justice card here? 
Okay, well, that's a lot. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles again. Yes, yeah, something is being made right. This is a new offer. This is a new opportunity. We have the Justice card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a very good opportunity, okay? Uh, this is something that that is in need of celebration, something that you've been waiting on, you know, to be celebrated. Okay, give me a message for the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Give me a message for the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, definitely. It's not something that you, you're expecting. You know, this is something that's coming out of the blue. Okay? Um... This isn't something that you're aware of. This is something that is just happening by chance. Okay? But I feel like, you know, with this Four of Cups in reverse, you're not missing this opportunity. You're accepting this. This is something that you're accepting because you're fully focused on yourself. You're fully focused on your needs. On becoming more restored. Right? Give me a message for this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Message for the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The world in reverse. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely something that you've been waiting on. Look at this. We have the Four of Swords again at the bottom. Yeah, whatever this was, you didn't have any closure. You know, this cycle hadn't ended yet. And within this next 40 hours, it, it still may not complete, completely be closed. You know, the cycle may not be ending just yet. Yeah, this may be something that's still in progress. Okay? But these opportunities are coming, Scorpio. Give me the message for the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Give me a message for the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Okay, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is this is coming together. I feel like once it starts rolling, it's going to come in very quickly. Whatever this abundance is, you know, whatever this prosperity is, this, if this is a job offer, it's going to come very unexpected, but very quickly. Okay. Um, why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? We have the Page of Swords. Ooh. And the Strength card on the bottom. The Page of Swords and the Strength card. Wow. Yeah, I feel like in this situation, you you weren't backing down, Scorpio, but you were starting to get restless. You were starting to, you know, you were starting to get a little anxious in the situation. I feel like your curiosity has gotten the best of you, but your, you know, your your ability to think things through is what kept you going. Okay, that's how I feel. Your ability to keep things moving, you know, to, you know, give yourself that, that self-talk, you know, keep your hopes up. You know, there was something that you were hoping for, for and you weren't backing down. You were going to speak your truth. You know, you weren't going to let someone deceive you or take something away from you that you knew was yours. Okay, that you knew was meant for you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Spirit, give me a message. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The King, um, excuse me, the Emperor. Yeah, you're taking control. You're taking the control back because you see your abundance. You see your worth. 
you see that people can't take advantage of you, my beautiful Scorpio, because you see that worth within yourself, okay? And I feel like if this is a situation, that this is very well a long-term situation, you know? I feel like you may have been unhappy for a while in the situation that you were in, and now you're moving away from that. You're moving away from that energy because you're taking back the control, you know, you're not letting, you know, people take advantage of you. You're bossing up here, okay? And you're not taking no for an answer, my beautiful Scorpio. You're not. You're not taking no for an answer. Because you know that you're worth more than what they were giving you. Okay, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. You know, you're having some sort of breakthrough at the moment. You're having some sort of breakthrough, Scorpio. And you may feel like the all the hard work that you've been doing, you're responsible for that hard work, okay? You, you're responsible for that hard work, and you're getting the good news from that work that you're putting in. You know, the Eight of Pentacles, this is building. This is hard work, you know? The Nine of Pentacles, it's the same thing. It's hard work, but it's also... Um, doing it efficient efficiently right it's taking responsibility for all of that hard work that you've done you know it's raising your standards having that passion you know knowing exactly what you're worth and demanding respect with this ace of swords okay speaking your truth you know not accepting anything less why is the Knight of Cups here? Give me a message. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. So as with this Knight of, Knight of Cups, you know, this could be a new offer. Okay. This could definitely be a new offer. But I feel like something is ending for you to accept this offer. Okay. Something is ending for you to accept this offer. Hmm, maybe a relationship or your current position, okay? Why is the judgment card here? Give me a message. Why is the judgment card here? The chariot. Um, I feel like you're kind of confused on which direction to go in. You know, I feel like you're taking control, but you know that this cycle isn't completely ended at the moment. Um, this emperor energy could be an Aries in your life, someone who it has more control over you than you do uh, with this chariot in reverse, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, you're you're needing to know a direction, you know. You're needing to know the right direction to go in. And right now I feel like, especially with this Four of Wands and this Nine of Swords, you're kind of lacking that direction at the moment because you're not sure which way you want to go. You know that you want this independence. You know that you want to, you know, have this new start, have this new beginning. But... I feel like, you know, you just don't have the direction that you want to go. I, I, I really see that there's answers that you just not have been able to answer yet, you know. And like I said, I feel like Spirit is letting you know you already know the answers, Scorpio. You already know. You know, you feel it. You feel it. 
Why is the Four of Wands and the Nine of Swords? Temperance, blessings, taking the higher ground, okay? Taking the road less traveled. Having faith, your faith being restored, right? Um, I feel like you're trying to find the reason for something. You're trying to find the reason behind maybe your actions or someone else's. But my beautiful Scorpio, sometimes there is no clear reason. You know, sometimes things just become outgrown or things just, you know, things are just meant to stay for a period. And once we've outgrown that situation, then it's time to move to something better. Okay. Give me a message for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to go? No. Give me an outcome for Scorpio. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, change is coming through for you. Okay, the Nine of Swords in reverse. You're taking back that fear. You have that new beginning. You know, you, you have the Six of Wands on the bottom. This is success. This is being recognized. This is finding that higher power, becoming one with your higher self. Okay? Um, so I feel like the answers that you need are going to come. You know, you're going to have that resolution that you need. And you're going to get the change that you so desire. You know, the will of fortune, this is, you know, fate, good fortune, cycles, you know, starting and ending, right? We have this world card here in reverse. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is good fortune. This is a turn of events for you. Right? And then we have the Fool card. You know, this is definitely a new beginning. Uh, a, a fresh start. Right? A, a new beginning to whatever that you're looking for. The, the Nine of Swords in reverse. You know, this is having hope, having the hope that you need, that you will be restored, that things will work out. It could also be, you know, re you recovering from some sort of pain or actually getting help in your situation. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is what I have for you. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some messages for Scorpio. Let's get some more messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio... Oh, I'm so sorry. I hurt you. What does Scorpio need to know right now? Connect with your soul tribe. Find that support system. Right? Find that support system. It's not what you're expecting. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You have these two Ace of Pentacles here. It definitely may not be what you're expecting. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get your messages. I think about you even when we're apart. Someone is thinking about you. We have stopped living in the past. You have to let go so something better can come. Uh, we have healing to create a perfect time to reunite. Okay, we have let it go. <laughs> Here it is again. You already know the answer. Spirit is letting you know. You know, I need to tell you the truth. If you have a question, the answer is yes. We have, I'm done. And we have, let down your walls to opportunities. Okay? And at the bottom, we have, believe in yourself. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio. And I feel like, you know, if you're leaving a situation, I feel like they're going to miss you. They don't, you don't know what you have until that well runs dry. Right? 
Um, but I feel like Spirit is letting you know to have faith in your situation, that you're being guided and protected. Okay, so let's get an angel number for Scorpio. Let's get an angel number for Scorpio. Okay, we have 555 change. Change happens outside your comfort zone. The time for change is now. The angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk it. Take the next step. Allow change to lift you up and guide you forward. Okay? Your affirmation, Scorpio, I release all that no longer serve me as I am guided to move outside my comfort zone and let change in. Okay? Beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, I hope this message finds you and you receive it. Um, if this message resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Also, you can take a look at your monthly reading and um, see if that, that resonates more. And my beautiful Scorpio, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.